Hello. I'm going to tell you about the book that I just finished. It's by Michelle Wellback. Uh, the name of the novel is Serotonin. Show the cover. And um, at this point, Michelle Wellback is pretty well known to be a controversial, uh, one of the more controversial writers uh, working today. Mo usually when his books come out, it's uh, a sc scandalous affair. And this is a scandalous book. Um, I enjoyed it, but it's full of um, really hard topics. Um, the main character is, um, it's a first person narrative and the, the main character is a middle-aged Frenchman who works at the Ministry of Agriculture and he's sex obsessed and he's also depressed and he has a very superficial, grim, negative view of the world and the people in his life. Um, the women he treats, he kind of only sees them as sex objects or um, vessels that can either please or displease him and not much more. Um, the men in his life, uh, his male friends, um, are still relatively uh, bound by superficial relationships. Um, I think what makes the book interesting is that at this point it's it's framed for you to understand that the world is passing this type of person by and there's a I'll say com comical examples. Um, the main character, his name is Florent, I believe. It's kind of a long French name, but it's Florent. The ma main character doesn't like that people recycle. And he makes a point when he's walking around and he sees recycling bins, he, he goes over and purposefully throws garbage in. And He's unhappy because he likes to smoke cigarettes and he has to travel for work and more and more frequently the hotels don't have smoking rooms and he spends his time looking up at the smoke alarms, the smoke detectors and he talks about how he's been learning about the smoke detectors and he can tell like, oh, this, this, is, one, this is one of the older ones that doesn't really pick up the cigarette smoke so I can smoke in my room. And, um, more and more often, um, the people around him are treating him as if he's out of fashion. Meanwhile, this uh, sex-obsessed man who's had a, a, a few uh, rom romantic relationships that have long since passed and failed He's now found himself alone and unhappy and rigid. He's unbending in, in the way that he views the world. Finally, he goes to the doctor and he's given antidepressants. And <clears throat> he believes that, he, he takes the antidepressants, he believes that they're working. One of the side effects of the antidepressants is that now he's impotent. So <clears throat> the one one thing that he kind of used as his gauge in the world for his base as, as it is um, is now taken from him, and it's not. It's, it's a, a very serious, sad book, uh, unpleasant, um, 
the, the voice of the characters is quite good uh, in the same way that uh, the voice in Notes from the Underground can be compelling. The voice is compelling. The character is unsympathetic. Um, there's a whole host of uh, perversions that go through this book. There's bestiality, pedophilia, um, lots of very graphic sex acts. Um, <clears throat> I'm kind of hesitating because I don't want to spoil or give, give away plot points uh, because the book just came out and I, if people want to read it, I don't, I don't want to give anything away. But to give you an idea, I'll give one example um, of, of, of an episode in the book. And he's now living alone in a hotel. He has a pair of binoculars and he's spying on his, uh, sp spying on a neighbor outside in the house. And one day, um, <clears throat> and this is uh, a mature subject matter. Just get, so just say that. Um, a little girl comes up on a bicycle to this house that he's spying on. Uh, the main character uh, cl believes that it's a 10 year old girl. And the 10 year old girl goes into the house. The curtains are drawn or the blinds are shut he believes the man that lives in this house is having sex with a 10 year old girl. He can't see it, but that's what he thinks. Two hours go by or whatever, the girl leaves. Two days later, a little girl comes up on her bicycle again and goes in the house. This time, the curtains are not drawn and the blinds are not shut. He has his binoculars and he's uh, spying and he confirms his su suspicions. Uh, there's a grown man having sex with a 10 year old girl, rape. The girl's a prostitute. He then tells you more about the man that lives in the, this house. He drives a very special historic car. It's a very rare, special car. This is what bothers him. He doesn't like that this guy can't get a normal car just like everyone else. He goes, this guy's a real snob driving a car like So, that's all I'm going to say. He has a very twisted world view, and he can see these horrors, um, horrific imagery, and still be completely shallow and surface level and disturbing, unple unpleasant. Um, but there's a voice there. I don't. I don't know if I communicated that but um, overall um, I, th I thought it was a, a good book by Michelle Welbeck um, a welcome addition to the, the rest of his catalog if you don't like his other books you're not gonna like this book um, I would say if you're if you're new to the author this could be a good book to start at. He, um, as far as it goes, he's relatively versatile. He has a science fiction book in Possibilities of an Island. Uh, his last book, Submission, was sort of a future dystopian novel. Um, the Map in the Territory was slightly like postmodern or meta. This feels very personal. It's a claustrophobic, um, it's first, first person narrative. So if you're really in, inside the head of a disturbed individual. Um, and if that's what you're looking for, it's a great book. So I went there. 
leave a comment if you would like. Uh, the name of the book is Serotonin by Michelle Welbeck. And thank you for watching. Bye.